So, let's have a look at the Mixed Member Proportional System, or MMP. In the MMP system, you have two votes. The first vote is for the party you prefer. This is the vote that largely decides the total number of seats each party will have of the 120 seats in Parliament. If 40% of us vote for the Cherry Party, it will get around 40% of all the seats in Parliament. If 10% of us vote for the Pear Party, it will get about 10% of the seats. Your second vote is to choose a person to represent your local electorate in Parliament. Under MMP, New Zealand is divided into 70 electorates. Whoever gets the most votes will become your local MP. They don't have to get more than half the votes to win. To get any seats in Parliament, a party must reach at least 5% of the party vote, or win an electorate seat. So let's see what can happen. The Cherry Party has won 25% of the party vote, which is equal to 30 seats in Parliament. These are filled, firstly, by the electorate seats they won, and the rest by MPs from its party list. The Pear Party hasn't won any electorate seats, but because it won 10% of the party vote, it's entitled to 10% of all the seats in Parliament. All come from its party list. The Banana Party only won 4% of the party vote, which is under the 5% threshold. But because they won one electorate, they are entitled to 4% of all the seats in Parliament. As its name says, MMP is a proportional system. This means there is likely to be a range of big and small parties in Parliament. Under the MMP voting system, governments are usually made up of more than one party, in coalition or with support agreements. And that's MMP.